Welcome everyone to part two of our text-based um, adventure game. In the first video we did a basic introduction using print statements that guides the user to two caves. The user has to choose between um, entering one of the caves. One of the caves uh, contains a friendly dragon and the other one contains an evil dragon. The friendly dragon has some gold coins that he will give to our adventurer um, as he passes through into the other land that he can use. Alright, so let's continue. We have... I'm going to go ahead and print uh, comment out our print cave statements and our print friendly cave statements. These were used in the previous video in order to make sure that we were getting the correct values um, either from the user by entering which cave he's going to go into here a and also generating a random number in, in a range between 1 and 2 and if the two matched then he our adventurer was at the friendly cave and if they didn't match then he got the evil dragon and would die so now we need to continue on and um, write that conditional all right, so if the cave chosen, um, well, actually, if the cave is equal to, and then we'll turn it into SCR friendly cave, uh, and the reason is, well, we're generating a, a number here, but we're using raw input, so it doesn't know if it's a number or a string, so. Uh, here we've made the cave a string so when we generate this it's going to end up being a string now friendly cave here is a random number so we need to turn friendly cave into a string to compare the two and in Python we do this by saying if cave is equal to SCR friendly cave now we want to end our conditional with a colon and so if the two numbers do match then we want to print dot 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 the dragon gives you some of the gold from his treasure and if we want this to be string literal that prints out we're gonna have to put it in quotes else if it's you don't end up with the friendly dragon then we're gonna print the dragon gobbles you up or let's just say down in one bite because he's a big guy alright so we're gonna test this part of our game you should test each part to make sure it works before going on to the next part so we're in the land of dragons, we see two caves, I'm going to choose a two, and it says that the dragon gives you some of the gold from his treasure. So now you can say something like print, if this is also true then uh, you can pass through, you take, his, you take some gold and pass through his cave to a new land and you can continue the adventure from there if you so, so like and then if again if they don't match them the dragon's gonna gobble you down in one bite and maybe you need to print a statement something like um, would you like to play again and for right now we can say if so please run the module again okay so 
this is a simple way of doing an if-else statement. It allows the user to choose one course of action over the other. And it looks like the, this time the dragon gobbled me down in one bite. And that should be bite and not bit. And then it asked me if I would like to play again. And if so, I'm going to run the module. Another way to do this would be to um, add a loop and then keep rerunning the game if we want to play again. So I'm going to actually create a variable here that says play again. And I'm going to set it equal to yes because the default is it, we want to play again. And then we're going to create a while loop. And while loops use a condition, and then uh, while, as long as that condition is true, you can write out it executes the statements below it. Okay, so our condition in this case is while play again is equal to the string yes or the variable play again is equal to the string y, just in case someone's lazy and only wants to put in y, then we need to re-execute all these pieces of code up above. But how do we do that if, there, if Python executes code in order from, from top to bottom and we've already gone through them once? Well, we can turn each piece of code into a function and then call that function. So our first section up here is where we have an introduction. So we're going to make a function called introduction. So we'll say def for definition display intro and colon. And now we need to indent everything that belongs to this function. So we're going to say format indent. And I'm now there's nothing in this that we need to reuse again, like a value, so we're just going to substitute the, uh, the name down here. I mean type in the name down here, so we'll say, uh, we'll do a method call which is display intro. And now let's test this piece of code. So we're going to run the module. and it says I have an error. Oh, it thinks this is a statement to run, so I need to put a pound sign in front of it. So now it's asking me which cave you'll go into. I'll go into one this time, and it says you take some gold, and in front of you you see two caves. So now what we've got happening is that it's we've got an endless loop going because it keeps generating that code over and over and over again. So we need to uh, fix that part of the code. So we'll do, sh if this happens, you can just do shell, restart shell, and it'll close off the program you were running. OK, so now we've actually got to do the other parts. So we've got, here's where we choose the cave. So we're going to make a function. And we're going to say def choose cave. And then we'll go ahead and indent all of this information.
Now in this case we need the value that we enter which goes into the variable cave so we have to return that value so we're going to say return cave and then we're going to go do the next part which is check the cave so we'll say def I'm going to go ahead and move this comment inside my method like I did above and you want to make sure your comments are indented also so now I'm going to make another function that says check cave and I will go ahead and indent this information and then this is also part of my cave area so I'm going to indent it also Okay, so now we can display the in intro and then what we want to do is to choose a cave and we got to put it into another variable so we're going to make a cave num variable and then we're going to take our function here and whatever we get from that function choose cave one or two will go into cave num and if we want to see that we can print cave num and then what we want to do is to check the cave so now we're calling the meth the function check cave but we need we need our cave num we need to know if it's a one or a two in order to compare it with the other number that we've generated randomly so we're going to have to pass in our cave num variable as a parameter and then we get our result here if the cave is friendly then we go on our adventure and if it's not we get gobbled up so if we get gobbled up then we need to say um, play again is equal to raw input and then we'll give a prompt to the user do you want to play again enter so we'll say bracket enter yes or no close the bracket semicolon close the quotes and close the parentheses and then we don't need this sentence in here would you like to play again so we'll take that out all right, so let's go ahead and run our module. And now we're in the dragon land again, and you see the two caves. It asks you which cave you would like to go into, and I'm going to say two. And it says check cave takes no arguments. One is actually given. So right down here, check cave we've got we're giving it one argument but we don't have anything up here so that's why it says none given so we need to put in cave num up here and then let's try running it again so now I see the two caves I'm gonna choose one and it says cave is not defined Oh, so we can